Today, we're going to talk about taking down a tree. A five-step felling plan is used by professional arborists everywhere. Let's see what those steps are. 1. Look for hazards. 2. Assess the side lane. 3. Clear an escape route. 4. Determine hinge size. 5. Use the back cut technique. The right personal safety equipment will help avoid injury. Make sure you have thumbs up on all these pieces of equipment before you start. Close fitting clothing, jewelry free, long pants, sturdy non-slip boots, safety glasses, hard hat, hearing equipment, chainsaw protective pants or full wrap chaps. Remember that even with this plan, we do not control nature. Even the most careful sawyer can have a fluke fell. Establish a circular safety zone around the tree, one and a half times its height. Now, for the felling plan. Step 1. Look for hazards. Look up in the tree to see dead branches, defects, decay, heavy lean, electrical conductors, or any other things that may unexpectedly affect the way the tree and branches fall. Watch for hangers and vines or old cables or support systems. Determine the height of the tree to ensure that there is room to fell the tree and it can be done safely. Consider obstacles within the felling site, such as structures, pavement, and outdoor furnishings. Take a moment to assess the strength and direction of the wind. If it's a windy day, find a safer time to fell the tree. Ensure that you have clear, uninterrupted communication with your team. Use the command response system at all times during the felling operation. Clear. All right, make them all back cut. Provide adequate traffic and pedestrian control in the felling area. Trees are two-faced because they often grow with the lean. They have a good side and a bad side for felling. The good side of the tree is the side that is opposite of the lean. A bad side is the side with the lean. It's also possible that the tree has a weighted lean. Take a step back and look up into the limb structure. Draw an imaginary circle around the entire limb structure and draw a plumb line to the ground. This is the bad side of the tree. Take a moment and paint a notch on the good side of the tree to keep it straight in your head. Step 3. Clear an escape route. Always think about your escape route before you begin the felling operation. The escape route should be a 45 degree angle opposite the felling side direction. Of the tree. Bad side of the tree. Be sure your escape route is clear of obstacles or hazards before beginning. Step 4. Determine Hinge Size To control a tree's fall, a hinge is necessary. Plan the size, depth, and placement of the notch. For thickness, a good rule of thumb is 10% of the diameter of the tree at 4.5 feet off the ground. The length of the hinge will determine the fall path. Here, make a cut 80% the diameter of the tree at 4.5 feet off the ground. Some trees with a heavy lean will require a longer hinge. Step 5. Use the back cut technique. The back cut is often taken for granted, yet it's often the cause of felling accidents. Remember, face notch plus back cut equals hinge. This cut should be level with the open face notch. Remember to finish the felling on the good side of the tree and use your escape route as soon as the tree begins to fall. Now timber! Now felling is a breeze as long as you take these steps. Once again, the five steps to felling a tree are 1. Look for hazards 2. Assess the side lean 3. Clear an escape route 4. Determine the hinge size 5. Use the back cut technique. 